I'll let you go for it. The universe. It is vast and large, ever expanding and de expanding. So long has it existed. It is awesome. But who are we to live in this great place? So big and large, taking up every inch of everything. Well, that's fascinating. So we study it in astrophysics. This is the field of science where we use mostly light to figure out stuff. Or just any kind of electromagnetic radiation. The first dude who started this was Galileo, and he made the first telescope, which is very important now because they are used in this field of science that revolutionizes all the everything of everything. First this telescope is in space, now this one is also. And these telescopes see farther than the eye. They <laughs> see electromagnetic spectrum radiation, and they use this information to collect data about the galaxy and all of its planets and all their information about luminosity, chemical composition, and temperature. And now we know more. Like the Big Bang. Like when it all started, we know now how that started. We now know from Redshift. Because we now know the speed of light, so we know how long it takes us to get here, because light leaving a star, if that star is moving the other direction, it will make the light turn more red. Because when it's moving away, the, the red will hit our eyes, and so we know that's like really far away, and the more red it is, the farther away it is. So we can measure this light to measure the distance of stars. And we noticed that all the really far away stars like everything is moving at the same speed away from planet Earth. Not from planet Earth, but like just in general, they're all moving away from each other all at once. So we know that it came from a single point at one point. So that's how we know the big big started. From someone's someone's constant is involved as well, I don't remember. And this is black uh, dark matter. And this is like the stuff that we can only see uh, from like the planets moving, like track their movement, and then like, hey, that doesn't make any sense. Why is that planet there? And his is like, ten years is like, cause I put it there. But no, it's because the dark matter is like holding everything together, but it's not a particle. So we're like, what is it? And we still don't know. We can't detect it using any detectors. But, you know, it's holding galaxies together because we know gravity is constant. We know that gravity, the amount of mass is there. And we're able to fight the, uh, the, the speed that the planets have, like, moving away from each other. So it really like, this force in there that we can't know about. This is basically a picture about telescopes. And saying how ground telescopes suck because all you can see is, like, light. And the ones out here, out of the atmosphere, you can see all kinds of things in the universe. Because they can see, like, gas. And... So... And 